Ladies and gentlemen and valued members of our community, and most importantly, the parents. My name is Parker Sisk, and I stand before you as a candidate for school board for District 3, the Ellendale District. As you can see, I'm different than from your typical candidate running for office. I'm young. I'm only 21 years old. That might raise some eyebrows for you. But let me tell you, that is actually an advantage for me. I just graduated from Alexander Central just three years ago in 2021. And which means I understand the challenges that the students are currently facing right now. But let's address the elephant in the room right now, and that's the fact that we had to cut $1.5 million from our budget, our school budget. The school board, the members of which we elect to handle a job that is to run our school system, were warned a decade ago to fix our debt problem. To f they were told that we needed to get rid of at least one school. Instead, we opened four more schools as well as invest in technology we cannot afford. When I'm elected to the school board, I pledge to fix our budget issues caused by a decade of negligence. I will ensure transparency, responsible allocation of funding, and accountability for every member of the board. Now, I've been inspired by a proposal from former President Donald Trump. I am advocating to allow you, the community, to vote in who our principals should be. <laughs> Maybe even the superintendent. Maybe with more community involvement, our schools would be better off. Of course, you should have a more significant say in our school. It's time to amplify your voices, the people who are impacted by these budget cuts. Now, I want to talk about bullying. I am putting out a metaphorical hit on bullying. When a student reports bullying to a teacher, it often backfires. This only escalates the issue because it makes the bully angry. This alone has led to a 75% increase in suicides among students in the past decade alone. I am proposing an open door policy for all students with teachers. We need to protect victims of bullying as well as combat bullying itself instead of just letting it go not doing anything about it, as I have experienced in my life as a student. I thank you all for your time and attention tonight. I hope my perspective, along with my commitment to fiscal responsibility, community involvement, as well as addressing the critical issue of bullying, has earned your support. Together, let's build a school system that truly serves the needs of our students and our community. Thank you.